Hello Internet, I'm Bernard Fez, Tiki Specialist, and in this tutorial we'll see together how... Hello everyone, this is Bernard Fez, a Tiki Specialist. Internet, I'm Bernard Fez, a Tiki specialist, and in this tutorial, we'll see together how to work with Tiki and Git the easiest way possible. How to fork, how to create a merge request. This tutorial is aimed for developers, uh, new or skilled designer, translator, or anyone willing to contribute to the Tiki project. Hang on, it will be a speedy tutorial. And first of all, I hope that you are all safe and things are okay for you and your family. Secondly, I have to apologize for not being able to publish earlier this Tiki Express tutorial. As you've seen in the pre-intro, I tried several times to start it, but got so many things in the way. I just couldn't drop anything else to complete it. And that's the way it is. Uh, I also had to switch the topic of the video as announced in the previous tutorial for a shortened one. But no worries, there will be soon one about the custom search plugin in Tiki. Now some quick news, Tiki21 has been released and it is an awesome release. Check details at doc.tiki.org slash tiki21 and you guess right, the link will be in the description below. Um, we have a Tiki Fest coming uh, and this year it will be a virtual meeting. I don't need to tell you uh, that anything involving traveling is very complicated, but Tiki is a perfect tool, a perfect application for online collaboration and working remotely. Therefore, the Tiki community organize and invite you to participate and contribute to our 2020 virtual Tiki Fest. Check details again, link in description. I won't say it again. Uh, last but not least, following requests and wishes and discussion on how I can optimize the help I can provide about Tiki, I decided to held a weekly open discussion. It's unscripted information, sharing opportunities, and if you want to receive my meetup notification, you will have to go to my website and subscribe to the newsletter. No other way. And now we start. Tiki is an open source application and exists since 2004 with an original model that kept us on top of the CMS, Wiki, Web Collaborative Platform and Web Application Generator. Tiki is free and everyone can join the community and start to contribute right away as long as he follow our three rules. Respect the environment, commit early, commit often, make it optional. To support Tiki, we are using Git and a Tiki repository at GitLab. In this Tiki Express tutorial, we'll review together how to create your project at GitLab, a quick explanation about security and GitLab, how to mirror the Tiki repo in your project, an overview of the workflow, how to install your local Tiki, how to create your branch, how to commit your code, how to push it into your fork, how to create a merge request on the Tiki repository. The Tiki community decided to use GitLab to develop the Tiki project. And it means it also store and distribute the files from the project in a repository. To be able to follow this work properly, you need to have a GitLab account or to create one at gitlab.com. Let's open a discussion about security at GitLab. One important thing with your account and project is to keep it safe and most of the time private. This is done through the security setting of your account. GitLab has serious and justified concern about security and password. I suggest you to register your SSH key following the GitLab doc and to activate double factor authentication. I strongly suggest you to take the time to read their manifest about security practices. Once you have your account, create a project so you can create your Tiki fork and mirror it with the original Tiki repository. That way, your project will be constantly updated using the Tiki repository and you will be always working on updated files. On GitLab, go to Setting Repository and 
expand the mirroring repositories. From here, copy past the git URL from the Tiki project, enable overwrite divergent branches and save. You may have already some concerns. What if you modify files? Won't they be overwritten with the new code coming in from Tiki? Would they be merged? Are my modifications pushed back to the Tiki repository, etc.? Well, while there are more than one reason to work with Git, I'll explain here our community model and in fact the reason you are working on your fork and create your branch to submit your merge request. In short, you create a branch in your fork to modify and check out your code. You push it back to your branch in your fork, your repository. Then you submit a merge request to the Tiki project so others can review your code, ask questions, approve and merge your request finally. At GitLab, I go on my project page. As you can see by default, the first version of Tiki is selected and it will be used for comparison. To avoid confusion, I suggest you to set your default work branch with the one you are using. As a bit and safe practice, I always select the default branch I'm sending a merge request to. Go to Settings, Repository, and open the default branch section. Select the branch you want and save. It is done. I have a repo. I have my fork of Tiki and I will clone my first branch from my remote fork on my local computer. By the way, I've already made a much more dense video about Git and Tiki, where you can find more details about striping history, selecting your branch, etc. You can check it or search the web to investigate further. So, I will create a lightweight clone of the branch 21.x with the minimum history from my repo on my local. On my local, using my fork, it will look like this. I go on my terminal and I enter it. Now, in real life, I should complete the Tiki setup, test everything that I do and be sure my local is working fine before committing anything. But this is a demo and I'll skip these steps. But you, you don't do that at home. Before committing, check that everything is working fine and does not break anything else in Tiki. We will now create a new temporary branch that will be used to commit a little and simple addition to the Tiki French translation language. On my local terminal, I check the existing branch I have. I create usually a branch prefix so I can submit and control my commits and merge requests. Let's create a branch French translation. I check again my local branches and I can see my new branch has been created and it is the one I'm working on. Another good practice is to rebase. Check that you use the last version of the code before starting to work so you don't have to, during the commit operation conflicts or merge to manage. Now I quickly edit the translation file. Pick up a string to translate and save. I'm ready to commit, but before that, I remind you it is important to double check your Tiki first. Not less important, you should regularly check the how and where to commit information at dev.tiki.org. To commit my file, the first time I need to add this file to prepare the content staged for my next commit. Then I create my commit and add the commit message the way it should look. I added here the proper tag, the feature it concerns, and the description of the commit. 
Creating a commit is a local operation, and as long as you don't push it, it won't affect the remote repo or the Tiki repository. It is possible to check the pending commit using this command. And what we see here is what was expected. To push my modified branch into my fork, I do. I got a nice message that showed that it has been done. Now I want to have my commit merged into the Tiki repository. At GitLab, I go on my project page. Now I go on the GitLab menu and I click on Repository Branches. There I can see the new branch I created with the commit number and the status of the changes between versions. This comparison is done using the default branch that we set. The numbers should be very low here. If you have higher numbers, it may be the sign that you are not doing the right thing and you should double check. At Tiki, we use a CI CD pipeline to automate code review and test. You may have to wait a little time for this to complete before being able to complete your merge request. If we dive into our commit, we see some warnings, but while you can check what they are about, warnings are just warning. And depending on what you are committing and expect, it may be perfectly normal. In our case, we are just good to go. So, I finally click on the merge request button, check from branch to branch information, and eventually change them by clicking on the change branches link. I paste or write down the same message I used for my commit message. I give a description with detail uh, of what behavior was changed or fixed, how to reproduce, etc. Anything that can help others to review quickly the merge request. Here is a sample of what I usually do to illustrate as for this merge request, a translation, there is not really much to say and to explain. As you can see, I have also recreated on my project the same tags that we are using in the Tiki repo, and so it is easier and more user-friendly to identify the nature of my merge request. I have also some options so I can delete the source branch when the merge request is accepted. I submit the merge request, and now I'm redirected inside the Tiki repository, where I can see my merge request for my multilingual French translation. I click on the merge button in that case because there is anything else I would like to comment. Now, as you can see, we have a branch uh, and it is updated with the last commit. Also note that you have on the left side a merge request menu that you can always use to comment and discuss or have pending more complex commit that would require approval or if you want to share and have some guidance when you commit something. No more excuses. You can contribute without fear to break anything and you can have your code available for others to review and eventually help. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial as usual. Let me know in the comments. Uh, if you liked it, like and share this video of course. I won't forget to publish one about the custom search plugin and there will be more video tutorials on the plugin list, the plugin list execute and the tracker. If you don't want to miss my next Tiki Express tutorial, subscribe and ding ding on the little YouTube bell. Uh, don't forget, I, answer, uh, I will answer questions on my uh, uh, open uh, chat weekly meeting. So subscribe at bisfest.com to the newsletter and you will, be, you will receive my meetup notification. Uh, that's it for today and uh, may the power of Tiki be with you. Of and course. may the power of Tiki be with you, of course. May the power of Tiki be with you again. Moi je dis que c'était pas mal. <laughs>